All right, Shalom. Call Halal Yim La, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Racha Kwadash. Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me this truth. And salutation to you, I came out there in the four corners, laboring in this truth, pushed with all righteousness and sincerity. And shalom to confusion and faith, brothers who don't look like average everyday Israelite, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but you are according to the Holy Spirit. All right, you are the children of the Most High. And to you, I say shalom. This is Brother Chai Ha here coming back at you with another video through the Spirit, man. You know, talking about how the lowly and the meek and the humble is going to inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, but it starts off with the children of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, you are the true chosen people of the Most High. All right, you will inherit the earth, but it starts off with an elect number. Okay, and that number is 144,000. Okay, because the elect were the ones who are and will be the only ones to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, and be rulers over the kingdom like the Lord promised. You know, without further ado, I'm going to start it off with the book of James, chapter 2, verse 5. It says, Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him? Okay, I'm going to read it again. It says, Hearken, all right, meaning listen, pay attention, my beloved brethren, okay, talking to the elect, because only the, the elect is going to humble down and listen to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Which is given to them through the spirit, uh, which was given to them through the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Okay. It says, Have not the most high chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? Okay, who's the poor of this world, man? You got you gotta sincerely take a look around, man. And it's it's really not even that hard. Uh, who are the most who are the most oppressed persons in the world right now? Are you so called Negro uh so like you so called Negroes, Latinos? And Native Americans, all right? We're the only ones really going through something, okay? Poverty at an all-time high. Hardly got food in the fridge, okay? Don't really, don't really have any riches unless you sell out, all right? You, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't have anything, man. All right, we, we have nothing to glory in, to be proud of, Okay? All right, we, we are the poor of this world, man. We struggle every single day in this wicked-ass kingdom. All right, who's being ruled by Esau, the so-called white man? All right? So it says the poor of this world, rich in faith, okay? But we're the most spiritual people on the planet. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? We are rich in faith. All right, we, we know that there's a higher power because there was a time where we was worshiping the higher power. Okay, the Most High, Yahweh. Okay, and his son, Yahweh Shah. All right, but the elect was the only ones to humble down. All right, and will be the only ones to humble down and, and turn back to the Lord to seek repentance. Okay, and heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him. All right, Yahweh Shema Shah promised the kingdom to the elect. All right, but you, and because the elect is showing love to Yahweh Shema Yahweh Shah. By doing what? Following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. All right, because the elect is being saved by mercy. Okay, going out in the highways and byways. All right, being uh, having brotherly love. All right, and so on and so forth, man. Everything that's right, that's of 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 um, righteousness. Okay, building up, uh, being built up in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, showing the Lord that. You basically showing the Lord that you love him, man. All right, by, by following the Lord's statutes and commandments. Okay? And how about Shema Shah promised the kingdom to them that love him? All right? And that's only for you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, for you Israelites, starting off with the elect. All right? Because, uh, because two thirds don't love the Lord, you know? All right, so that's, that's it on that. Let me get this just to um, back up the fact that the elect. It's poor, okay? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking, all right? The king himself. It says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, okay? The Lord said, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. 
All right, and that's that's plain. That's plain. The Lord said He knows us. All right, the Lord said He knows that we poor. The Lord said He knows our tribulation, our all the hell we got to catch. Okay, but we rich in faith. All right, and pr to prove even more that we rich in faith is because we don't have anything on this side. You see all the wickedness that Jake got to do to 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 get to the top, man. That's how you notice this world is not our rest. Okay, now this is going into the elect. All right, and it's the same situation. We don't have anything on this side. There's nothing to glory in, you know. But you got wicked niggas like Alizar, Alize, okay, uh, 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 uh Sadnetter, and the rest of these guys who's doing this this whole Hebrew Israelite award show, whatever the hell it is, man. It's a bunch of goddamn folly, man. Them niggas ain't they not they not poor. All right, well, they are because the Israelites, but they, they don't want to be poor, man. They want the kingdom on this side, and it's not happening. All right? That's why Yahweh Shah said what? I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. All right, the Lord said he, he knows our, our tribulation and our afflictions. All right, but it says, but thou art rich. Okay, we, we rich in faith, man. Let's, let me go into that word rich right quick. It says wealthy, abounding in material resources. Metaphorically abounding, abundantly supplied, abounding, rich in Christian virtues and eternal possessions. Okay? Faith is an eternal possession. All right? And that's that's what the elect has on this side, man. That richness in the faith, that abundance in faith, man. Okay? The elect will be abounding in faith towards the Habashim Yahweh because the Lord put the spirit on the elect. To, to, to worship him in faith, man, in truth and in spirit. You know? These other guys don't know that. All right? They don't know faith. All right? Continuing on, it says, And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. All right? Going into them, 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 them kites in the land of Israel today. All right? Them Amalekites. Them damn Jewish gutterites. Yahweh said, I know the blasphemy of them, all right? Because that's all Esau, the so-called white man, do is blaspheme the name of Yahweh Shimei his children, and everything, man. Because that's just the goddamn devil he is. So Yahweh said he sees everything, man. He knows everything. All right, the elect is gonna inherit the earth, man. You know. Matter of fact, let's let's uh, let's let's go into that, man. Let's continue on with the lesson. You know. There's the book of Luke, chapter 6. Verse 20, it says, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor. So like you. It says, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of the Most High. Okay? Yeah, we, we're poor on this side, man. Uh, we, we don't, again, we don't have anything. You know? There's nothing that we can glory in concerning this world. All right, we, we poor on this side, but we're going to be rich in the kingdom. Okay, Lord, will we be those men? All right? We, do, we, we are the hopeful elect. Okay, the Lord is telling us to humble down so we can in, in, uh, inherit the kingdom. You know? You got to take heed to the words of Yahweh Hashim, Yahweh Shah. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking to the disciples. It says, blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of the Most High. All right, the disciples dropped everything to go follow Yahweh Shah. Okay? And if you remember the story with the rich man, I um I can't find it right now, Salakia. So but the um it says um uh it's easier for uh matter of fact, no, I can't find it. Salakia. So Salakia, so that was a slip, Salakia. So let me let me let me go ahead and get it. All right, the scriptures say it's easier for a camera to go through the eye of a needle. So let me get that right quick. Kind of, is the book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 24. It says, and again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the most high because a rich man has all his substance on this side. All right. A rich man is abundant in his, in his uh, 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 wealth on this side, man, in this world, in this time, in this age. Okay, and a rich man is not going, it's, it's hard for a rich man to give up all of his possessions to follow the Lord. All right, 
Cause what he got? He got a piece of land. He got a few wives. He got a um a, um um probably some precious gems and so on and so forth. Okay. But if you want to follow your Howard Shah, man, you gotta let that go and believe that all your riches going. You your, well, your spiritual riches first, and I'm gonna go into that, Lord willing. Okay. You gotta build up your spiritual riches, man. All right, you got to aim for the kingdom of the most high. You got to aim for the real kingdom. All right, because this right here is not our kingdom. It's not our rest. Okay, but going back to the scriptures, it says, blessed be ye poor for yours is the kingdom of the most high. All right, and that's hey, and that's going to be the elect. All right, the, the, uh, the leading governing body of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. Verse 21, it says, Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. All right, it says, Blessed are ye that hunger now. Okay, we 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 hungry for the truth, man. All right, we physically hungry as well. Like I mentioned earlier, man, Jake barely got food in his fridge now, man. All right. This system is crashing. And we we really ain't gonna have nothing then. And all that's left to count on is the uh is the is the mercy of Yahabashimi Hawasha. Okay? The blessings of the Lord, man. It says, For ye shall be filled, all right? And we being filled right now. First and foremost, we be, we being filled with the spirit of Yahabashimi Hawasha. We've been filled with the truth. Okay, the Holy Spirit, Rakak Wadash. It says, Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Yeah, man. Jake, Jake, we we crying now, man. All right, we're crying out for the Lord to come save us because we, we know the conditions that we're in and we want to get out of it. So we're calling on the Lord to help us. Okay, the elect will be calling on the Lord in these last days, man. All right, that was prophecy. The scripture said cry aloud. Okay? You got to sincerely be crying and praying to the Lord to, to, uh, to, like it, to get you out of this place. And the Lord sees that and he's pleased with it. Okay, that's that's the sign of humility by calling on your Habashim Yahushah. You know, and not leaning on your, your, yourself or uh, trusting in your wealth and your riches and so on and so forth. All right, verse 20, um, Salakia. Yeah, that was yeah, that, that was it on that, you know. Let's go to the book of uh let's go back to the book of Matthew right quick, Salaki. I won't weigh up. The um the sixth chapter, I believe it's the 20th verse. Yeah, let me start at verse 19. This is the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 6, verse 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, okay? For you rich niggas out there, okay? Because y'all got it all on this side, man. The money, the cars, the clothes, the women, the houses, the land, and so on and so forth, okay? The attention, it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt. Okay, where, where moth and rust doth corrupt. You know, because that's all that, that's going to happen to all your wealth and your riches and your so-called substance on this side. It's just going to be corrupted, man. All right, it's, cor it's already corrupting your mind. It's just going to deteriorate later on. You know? And everything in this society languishes. All right? It says, and where thieves break through and steal. Yeah, man, anything can get stolen. Anything that you call yours is not really yours. All right, because Esau, the so-called white man, could, could just claim it all back. He could take everything from you. All right, that's why the elect is not focused on the materials of this side. All right, the, 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 the so-called substance on this side. The elect is not caught up in those things. The elect is looking for the kingdom of the most high. Okay? Incorruptibility, all right. Perfect, perfect uh, 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 things, man. All right, spiritual things, righteousness. That's what the elect is looking for. All right, but continuing on to verse twenty, it says, "But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal." Okay, and that's hey, that's plain, man. You gotta lay up your spiritual treasures, man. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Okay, righteousness. All right? 
the Holy uh, 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 faith, the Holy Spirit, man. All, right, all of those spiritual things, you, you got you to gotta lay up for yourselves for the kingdom. Okay, to inherit the kingdom. You know, humility, it starts with being humble, man. You got you to gotta go back to the Lord. You got you to gotta beg the Lord to, to, to save you from this affliction, from this hell. And that's what the elect will be doing in his last times. Okay? It says, where neither muff nor rust doth corrupt. Yeah, man, you, you can't corrupt the Holy Spirit. Okay, you can't corrupt wisdom. You can't corrupt humility. Okay? Verse 21, it says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. All right, so... Uh, uh, if you fix your mind on the treasures of this world, that's what that's what your mind gonna be after. You know, oh, I want this Lamborghini. You know, I want this fine ass bitch, man. Oh, I want this big ass house and so on and so forth. Because you worrying about all of that stuff on this side, you you eventually gonna go after it. That's why you got all these these rappers out here, these singers, okay, and all of the rest of these attention crazed idiots, man. Okay, and they don't even have a rest on this side, man, you know, because everybody's watching them. All right. And this also goes into to, uh, 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 well, more so into a spiritual factor, man. All right. When you when you pray for wisdom, when you pray for humility, okay, when you pray for more fear, okay, or whatever it is in the spirit you're praying for, man, your Habba Shem Al Shah is going to give it to you, man. All right, because the scriptures say what? Um, if you ask anything in the Father's name, he's going to give it to you. All right? So if you're fixing your mind on being righteous, okay, and having more faith, that's where your mind is going to be. That's what your attention is going to be directed towards. Okay? That's why it says, there will your heart be also. All right? That's why the elect will direct their minds toward righteous things. Because the elect don't want shit on this side. There's nothing to have. There's nothing that this world has that the elect wants, all right? And that's why through the spirit of poverty, how about Shem Al-Shah, the Lord is bringing the elect up out of this wickedness, man, okay? Because how about Shem Al-Shah has heard their cries, all right, day and night. You know, that's why you see brothers out there in the highways, in the hedges, it's like it. I'm just, I'm going to uh, this one right over here, all right? That's why you see brothers going out to the highways and the hedges, crying aloud, man, begging for the Lord to come back, all right? Constantly praying. Okay, being righteous. Also, the, so the Lord can see it and, 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 and we can get saved, man. All right. So if you're not if you're not out there crying, begging the Lord to come back and deliver you, well, then you don't love the Lord. That means you already found your rest. You already got what you wanted and needed on this side. You don't need the Lord after that. All right. Well, the elect is not in that mindset, man. Okay. So now I'm a chapter over in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter. I'm gonna start at um. I'm gonna start at verse three. Okay, this is Yahweh Shah speaking to the multitudes. Okay, it says, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." Okay, and that's 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 plain, man. All right, we our our spirits are vexed on this side. All right, because the scriptures say, um, uh, a contrite spirit and a broken heart. Is acceptable with Yahweh Hashem Shah. All right, and I'm gonna get that too. You know, through the Spirit, it says, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." All right, and that's gonna be the elect. All right, the one hundred forty-four thousand and one third, because we what our spirits are vexed right now, man. If you're not vexed in this society, then that means you you got you found rest in this society, man. Okay, you you found rest in this wicked ass kingdom. Again, you don't need the Lord. Okay, you're not poor in spirit. You're not crying out day and night for the Lord to come back and deliver you. Okay, so you don't need the kingdom of heaven. Verse 4 says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Okay, the elect is, is mourning right now. All right, like I said, be, being vexed, crying out for the Lord, man, because we see these this wickedness going on, man. This folly as Hebrew Israelite award shit. All right, the homosexuality, okay? Your woman out of order, your children out of order. All right, abominable foods. Are right, you supposed to be crying, man? 
It says, for they shall be comforted. And the Lord is going to comfort you with, with righteousness, man. Okay, the Lord will comfort you in, in your time of need. All right, these, these are the ones that's going to be obtaining the kingdom of heaven. The ones that cry out to you, how about Shimei, how All right, who, who get down and, and pray and beg the Lord, okay, for the righteous things. Verse 5, it says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Okay, the elect is going to inherit the earth. All right, the kingdom of heaven will be on earth. All right, we ain't going to be living in the clouds or in the fourth dimension and so on and so forth. Man, Lord willing, we be those men. Okay. The elect is going to take the whole earth and then some. All right, through the spread of Pavi, how about Shimei Hawasha? Because, again, the elect was chosen for the Lord himself. Okay, the elect is precious. And how about Shimei Hawasha is going to give the elect uh, rulership over the earth, man. And it's going to be a righteous rulership. All right, no more wickedness. Okay. Continuing on, it says, verse 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. All right, that's that's pretty plain, okay? You're supposed to want righteousness, man. You should you should want the law, statutes, and commandments to be uh, perfect, perfectly built and done, man. All right, perfectly built in your mind. So lucky, I didn't finish that. All right, you, you should want the law, statutes, and commandments to be perfectly built in your mind, Okay. And, and for you to be ruling the world in righteousness, man. Okay? Verse 7. It says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. Alright? The elect is going to see the Most High. Okay? It says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Alright? The elect. The elect are peacemakers. Okay? Okay? And peace comes from the scriptures. The elect is crying out for peace, man. All right, peace is righteousness. Okay? Verse 10, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. All right? You got brothers all across the world getting persecuted, man. Catching hell from either Esau, the so-called white man, two-thirds of their own people, okay? And the rest of the heathen. All right, brothers getting persecuted uh, every single day, man, for the sake, for the namesake of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, all right, for, for the namesake of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, okay? The elect always catch a hell uh, of, uh, for the Lord, man, because the Lord promised them something, okay? And we, hey, and brothers do it willingly. We go out and we do videos and we push willingly, man. All right, because we know the 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 um the the reward that's going to be set before us, man, which is the kingdom of heaven, being perfect, finally, finally being perfect. Okay, verse eleven, it says, "Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, for my sake." Okay, yeah, man, you you gotta you gotta be killed for your howashai, man. All right, because you got Esau, the so-called white man, trying to throw curses up, you know, to Satan for the nation of Israel. All right, but that's not going to happen because the scriptures say what? There ain't no enchantment against Jacob, man. All right, you 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 can't curse Jake. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, but most importantly, you can't curse the elect. So they're going to be trying to, they're going to gather together in their wickedness and throw up all types of wicked vibrations. But Yahweh about Shem is going to keep us safe from all of that, man. All right, we doing this for the namesake of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for Yahweh Hamashiach, who came back and died for the nation of Israel and became a um a, a mediator between the Most High and Israel, man. Okay, reconciling Israel back back to the Most High. Okay, this is why we go we go for Yahweh Shai, man. All right, we we push for Yahweh Shai. Ain't no other reason. Verse twelve it says, "Rejoice and be exceeding glad." For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Yeah, man, two thirds, and 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 the rest of the world persecuted the prophets, put the prophets to death. Okay, and they and, and they doing it to this very day. All right, this has always been going on, but this is gonna be the last time. All right, the prophets ain't ain't gonna die no more, man. All right, when the Lord come back. 
All right, two thirds is going to get checked. The heathens are going to get checked and put into slavery. Okay. It says rejoice and be exceeding glad. So you're supposed to be happy that you catch a hell for the namesake of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, because he promised you the kingdom. All right, why wouldn't you want this world to be righteous finally, man? Why wouldn't you want that? You got to be out of your goddamn mind if you don't want this world to be perfect and righteous under your Habashimi Hawasha. All right? So I'm going to end it there and I'm going to go to uh, my last scripture in the book of Psalms. All right, talking about that contrite heart and broken spirit, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 34. I'm going to start at um, verse 15. It says, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. Okay, like I was talking about earlier, man. Yahweh Shema Shah hears you when you cry out to him. All right, the Lord hears your vexation, man. You got to work on the Sabbath, you cry out to the Lord. You tell the Lord how vexed you are. How pissed off you are that you got to work on the Sabbath, man. Are you you supposed to be telling the Lord how pissed off, how pissed off you are about being in this wicked-ass kingdom, man? Okay, you you cry, you complain to the Lord about how pissed off you are about about not being totally righteous, man. About how you went off. Are you supposed to be crying out to Yahweh Shimei Shai, man? Because the Lord hear your cries, man. He opens his ears to your cries. You got to be praying, man. All right, verse sixteen it says, "The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth." Okay, Esau, the so-called white man, is going to be cut off from the earth, man. All right, the Lord is against them that do evil. And all that Esau, the so-called white man, has uh, ever done was be evil, man. A deceiver. All right, damn devil. Abominable. All right, so Yahweh Shem is going to cut them off from the face of the earth, man. And that time is coming. Verse 17, it says, The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Okay? And the big deliverance is coming. When Yahweh shall come back with the fleet of angels and he's, and he's, uh, 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 salvation is happening alongside destruction. All right? Destroying the wicked and delivering the righteous, man. Okay? Yahweh Shema Shah is going to save the humble and the meek of this earth, man. Which is the elect. All right? Precious and holy. Okay? Lord willing, hey, that's what Lord willing be those men. We're going to get delivered out of our troubles, man. You got to be looking forward to this. All right, this is why brothers go so hard for this truth, man. So we can get the hell up out of here. Okay? Even if it is a little small trouble on this side, man. You know? Maybe you need to be a little bit stronger. Maybe you want something fixed and so on and so forth, man. Whatever it is in the in the flesh, man. Yahweh Shema Shah can hear all of that. And the Lord can help you out. All right, you just got to go to him. Okay? In verse 18, it says, The Lord is nigh, which means near, unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Let's go into that word contrite right quick. This is H 1793. I'm going to go to the Strong's definition. It says, crushed, literally powder or figuratively contrite. Destruction, all right, of a destroyed, of a destroyed spirit, man. All right, our spirits are crushed, vexed on this side. All right, we, we're annoyed every fucking day, man. All right, brothers, hey, brothers be vexed as hell, man. Can't sleep, you know. Maybe brothers work with homosexuals and wicked ass women. All right. Hey, brothers, is vexed as hell, man. And your Habash Shema Shah sees that. You gotta go to the you gotta go to the Lord with that with that broken spirit so that the Lord can fix it up and make it all better for you, man. Alright, but it's you have to go to your Habash Shema Shah. Alright. Verse 19. The real pharmacist. Alright, only the Lord can heal you. Only the Lord can heal that contrite spirit, man. And you ain't in the contrary spirit if you already got everything on the side, man. Okay, verse 19, and I'm going to close it off there. 
It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them, Salaki, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. I'm going to read it again. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. All right? Like I was saying earlier, man, we we supposed to catch hell for the namesake of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Right? You gonna catch hell, and it's true. You know whether brothers get locked up. You know, a, a, um, goddamn two thirds or he to come up and and try you, and so on and so forth. All right, maybe you catch a little bit of hell at home. You know, with your woman or your children or whatever the case is. Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah sees all of your afflictions, man. Sees all of our afflictions. All right, but the Lord is, you got to believe that Yahweh Shem is going to deliver you out of all of them, man. Okay? That's why we go out and we do this work so we can um, uh, uh, make ourselves favorable unto the Lord, man. And obtain mercy from Him. All right, that's our whole purpose. Okay? The scriptures tell you to humble yourself before you be sick. I seek with pride. I seek with the affairs of this world. All right, and that's that's what the elect is doing. The elect is going to humble down and crawl back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh with the contrite spirits and the broken hearts. All right, broken minds. All right, because they believe in that reward. You know. But with that being said, Lord willing, I was edifying to Akim. Call Halayim La Yahweh Hashem Hey, just keep on being prayed up, man. Hey, Shalom.